channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, and I decided to do it. Basically, this is inspired by the Google Picks My Makeup Challenge. But I decided to do the Google Picks My Art Challenge. So I collaborated on this with Monique Renee over here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. Make sure you go check out her um, version of this challenge. But basically, we took our initials. So for me, I did AC um, for my real in real life initials. And then we put in the word art. Um, we searched that in Google Images and took the first image that came up and used that as an insert inspiration for the piece that we did today. So uh, when you Google AC art, um, it's a lot of art from or inspired by Assassin's Creed, which I have never played, although I do actually think I own one of the games, but I've never actually played it before. Um, so the image that I got, as you guys saw a little bit earlier, was this character um, and kind of like it was like very swoopy and I, like there were some really pretty colors so I kind of started off my kind of process by doing a couple little thumbnails I took some markers in the colors that I saw primarily in the picture that were inspiring me especially these reds and these blues and grays and then I kind of played around with uh, this little thumbnail sketch of um, somebody dancing not like dancing but kind of turning um, with like a yeah I guess like dancing with like a like a, a veil kind of thing because one of the things that really inspired me about the original image was not just the colors but all of the different like fabrics and stuff like that so I just kind of wanted to use those fabric choices um, and create this sense of fluidity and I just decided to cut her off like under the skirt like not draw her legs kind of have it be a three-quarter portrait which I'm not a hundred percent sure if I feel like I agree with that decision still but that's what I did <laughs> um, and yeah so I wanted to show my whole process of this piece for you guys today and kind of let you see a little bit more about how I kind of plan out my artwork. Um, this was one of those pieces where I kept making decisions and then regretting them, but you know, I pushed through and I finished it. So that's the important part. So that first little section there was me kind of doing my research, me kind of doing my research and then getting my ideas out on paper and kind of getting a color key for what I wanted to do. And then I went ahead and sketched the actual like picture of the girl dancing um, and I gave her some these like these little like spikes kind of in her hair that in my head were kind of like hidden daggers or disguised daggers and she's kind of maybe like a courtesan or something but she's also like an assassin because it was Assassin's Creed so I don't know anything about Assassin's Creed like at all I know that one of the video games was set in Italy so I'm going off of nothing here. I'm going off of the name Assassin's Creed. I'm assuming assassins are part of it. So in my head, she was like a female assassin and she's kind of like, you know, going undercover kind of thing as this sort of veil dancer. And she has her knives kind of spiked into her bun of her hair. So that's kind of the way that I decided to approach this in terms of my idea for the piece. Um, and then I decided to do it in watercolor, and one of the reasons that I did it in watercolor was actually because um, this company, they're called Escoda, they sent me, um, I actually don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong because it's a Spanish company, um, like I'm probably pronouncing it horribly wrong, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I pronounce things wrong, but... Um, this company, Escoda, uh, it's a brush company um, based out of Barcelona, and they actually reached out to me and sent me some of their brushes. So this isn't a sponsored video, um, but they did send me the brushes, and they also sent me a little something extra, which you guys will see at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for the end of the video. Stick around past the end of the art. There's two really exciting announcements at the end of this video, so you're going to want to make sure that you stay for that. Um, but they sent me these brushes and I was just like so excited because you guys, like Escoda is like top of the line brushes. Like they are phenomenally good. Like I, I have one brush by them or had one brush by them before they sent me these and it was like my baby and it was like the only brush that I took care of because these are nice brushes. So they sent me six brushes and I wanted to try them out during this video and kind of review them for you a little bit. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to say other than like they're amazing brushes, but, uh, the brushes they sent me were, they sent me a number six in the Kalinsky Sable and 
then they sent me a number eight um, synthetic brush from their Perla line. Um, they sent me a number 12 from the Aquaria line. Um, and it says Petite Grease, and I'm not sure what type of hair that is, um, but it is. it feels like it's natural hair to me. Um, and then they sent me a number 10 synthetic brush from their Versatile line. I, uh, number 14 synthetic brush from their Ultimo line. And a number, like a one inch flat from their um, synth uh, synthetic, uh, a number one flat, oh my god, a one inch flat uh, from the Prado line and that's also synthetic. Wow, that was like a real struggle to get out. But those are all the brushes they sent me, and oh my god, you guys, these brushes are like so nice. Like all of them, the the natural fiber ones held so much paint and so much water. These are the brushes right now that you can see. The natural fiber ones held so much paint. Um, it's crazy. Like I, yeah. And the the tips are really really fine. You can get really fine detail with them, and they just feel like they have like a really nice weight in your hands. They just feel really high quality like when you're holding them um the handles are beautiful like it, they feel very well balanced like they're just beautiful brushes like it's i don't know i tend to not use very high-end brushes in general just because it's it's always hard for me to just be like oh i'm gonna spend money on brushes i'm like but i want the colors and things like that but using these it's like i should really use like nicer brushes because they just they're so lovely to work with so I'll link their website down below if you want to check out. I've also seen them at Jerry's Artorama and maybe some other like art uh, stores and art websites. So check out your local art store as well um, if you want to try these brushes. So that is it about the brushes. Uh, more about the supplies in case anyone's wondering. This is on the Arche watercolor paper. Um, the rough, which is what I usually use. And then I used uh, May Mary watercolors, which my mom actually gave me. She gave me a bunch of May Mary paints, which was super exciting. And this was my first time using them for an actual painting. And they were really lovely to work with, which is pretty much what I expected. They are like nice quality paints. Um, I don't feel like I like them as much as my Dan Smith or my Holbein paints, but I do really like them. They are really nice. So um, let me know if you'd want me to do like an entire review on the May Mary brand paints because I now have quite a lot of them, um, which is exciting. And yeah, and then I used a very, very dry Micron to uh, ink it. I really need to go and buy some pens. So. I think that's everything in terms of the actual art, like technical wise and also thought wise. But this was a really fun challenge to do. And I want to talk a little bit about like my inspiration for this challenge. Like I mentioned that um, it was something that I'd seen in the beauty community, which I, it was. And, it, and I, I love taking like beauty community. They always have these like fun challenge ideas and bringing them to the art community. I really like challenges where it's more of you're inspired to create something new. So less of like challenges where you're trying to do think weird things with weird um like supplies but I like challenges where it's like a limited color palette or it gives you like a random idea for a painting and those are the kind of challenges that I want to do more on my channel because they're the ones that really inspire me and I feel like push me creatively so hopefully you guys like those kind of challenges and I do include like marker challenges not marker challenges necessarily but limited color palette challenges so you'll probably see some more of those coming up and I kind of want to talk about like my channel and my content because the person that made me be like, oh, I want to do that for art, um, this actual challenge was Graveyard Girl, um, or a bunny on YouTube. And if you don't know her, she is an OG YouTuber. She's been around for, for ages, so I'm, I feel like most people have heard of her. So she recently did a series with Shane Dawson, which was so good if you haven't seen it. It's like been trending and going viral everywhere. But basically in it, she talked about how she felt like her YouTube channel was just kind of like stagnating and she wasn't pushing herself creatively and I don't know like she just didn't really know what to do and she just been really caught up in all of the numbers and I think that for so many of us creators here on YouTube it really hit home because this is a opinion that I've heard expressed by so many of my friends here on YouTube so many other creators here on YouTube it's just it's something that I've heard over and over and over again which is creative burnout especially because of all of the changes to the algorithm not knowing what kind of content you want to make in the art community especially I've seen it really tied with us feeling 
kind of just like we ha we, we're creating stuff that we have to create versus like making art that we really want to make. And you know, I've seen Mira has talked about it. Mira Byler, she's changed her style very drastically recently and it's beautiful and she's just really making great stuff that she is happy making. And I've talked about it in the past before, um, but it's still been kind of hard because like you'll talk about it and you'll recognize it but at the same time you're looking at these numbers and the, the thing that everyone will tell you if you want to start a YouTube channel is like don't get caught up in the numbers don't get caught up in the numbers but what you don't understand before is that it's it's so hard to not get caught up in the numbers like my whole YouTube career I guess people have said don't get caught up in the numbers like even when I first started it was don't get caught up in the numbers so I knew that going in but I still got caught up in the numbers and it's very easy to sort of ignore the numbers until you have them and then when you have them things start changing and things start going down or whatever that's very difficult because you're like wait but I thought I knew what worked like I uh, why are why are things suddenly changing like it's not a continuous upward slope when you're on YouTube it's it's a roller coaster like sometimes you'll go up and sometimes you'll go down and um, it can be so easy to just get caught up in that no matter how hard you try and I feel like I have gotten caught up in that um, and I just have been trying to think a lot recently about the kind of videos that I really want to make. And one of the big things that has really stood out to me recently is I want to, I just want the filming process to be very different than it, than it was. Like, and I've been saying this for what, like over a year now, you guys have heard this from my channel. Like, I just don't want to have these straight on top shot films. Like I've been you know, I just want to do more creative things with the actual video itself. So I really tried to do that in this video and hopefully this is a style that you will see more from me uh, going forward. And I want to say like, hopefully you guys like it, but I'm not going to say that because I really like it. Like I really like these different angles and trying to be creative with the way that I'm showing the process of creating art. I really like that and it brings me a lot of joy to make videos that way. So that's what I'm gonna do because I have to stop, like I don't wanna say that I, I don't wanna think about what you guys want because that's not true. But I think that what you guys subscribed to me for was the videos that I was really happy about making and the videos where I was kinda like being my authentic self. And this is like what I really wanna do. Like I really wanna try new things and with again with like the art, like I wanna try these challenges that push me to do creative things. I want to do more detailed art. There's There's a lot of stuff that I want to do and I'm just kind of at this point now where I if I'm not having fun making a video then I shouldn't be making that video does that make sense so we're gonna see what happens on my channel I don't think there's gonna be like drastic changes or anything like that but hopefully you'll see some more experimental and creative things coming from me and we'll see what you guys like and what you don't like I mean I will pay attention to what does well and what doesn't do well but um, I just want to try some new stuff and I, I just want to push myself creatively like I feel like it's so easy to just get in a rut and you don't push yourself and you don't try to grow and it's not that you don't want to grow it's just that it's easier to not grow it's easier to just do what you know how to do and um I don't know I don't I don't want to do that anymore and we'll see we'll see like I'm not I don't think that every video is going to be some huge production but I would like to change things up so hopefully you guys are on board with that um let me know if you've seen Shane and Bunny's collab down below like comment what you thought of it I thought it was really powerful and it was really great to see a different side of Bunny because I have been a member of the Swamp family for quite a while um, I know you guys have seen some of you have seen I have her palette her graveyard girl palette like in my uh turning myself into my artwork video a bunch of people were like oh my god swamp fam and I was like yes like but you know it kind of had been a while since I watched her because her content like just it didn't grow with me as a person and so I think that's something we all struggle with as YouTube creators so I don't know let me know what you think of that down below but this is the painting I'd I hope that you guys like it if you're about to click out of this video, wait, hold on for one second because I have two really exciting things to talk about. The first thing I want to say is a huge thank you to Escoda for sending me these brushes to try out. They make such amazing quality brushes. It is absolutely insane. I was honestly just honored to be asked to try them, but they also sent me something for you guys. So Escoda sent me this travel brush set, which honestly, it's the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. I want to keep it. Um, they come in this little like black leather case and it comes with six synthetic sable brushes. And I actually have one of these brushes myself that I like purchased years back and it is so good. So if you want to win this, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. It's just 
write a comment, you know, about the video and also make sure to include a way to contact you, whether it's a Twitter handle, an email, whatever, an Instagram handle, and make sure your DMs are turned on for whatever you give me. If you do not give me a way to contact you, then you can't win this prize because I have no way of contacting you. So make sure you leave that down below and I will just be picking a winner randomly. Um, so that said, giveaway, so make sure you guys partake in that. And the second thing I want to announce to you guys is something that I am so excited about. I've been working on it for quite some time now and Basically, this is for anyone out there that is also a YouTube artist. So if you are also a YouTube creator, please listen up. I have been working on something with Jelly Bee. I will link her channel down below as well. And basically, it is a Discord server. If you don't know what Discord is, it's like these servers. You can kind of create your own chat rooms. There's all these different channels inside the servers for different topics and things like that. And this server is for all YouTube artists and creators. So if you have an art channel or like if you do crafts on your channel, um, you have to have a channel to be part of the discord it's not for just like fans or subscribers it's just for creators but it's a place for all creatives of all sizes you can have 10 subscribers you can have a hundred thousand subscribers there are different channels in there to fit your needs there's places to organize collaborations with other artists there's places to get critique on your artwork this places to talk about YouTube about the algorithm about monetization um, it's this place is just to chat and like get to know each other there's a self promo there's all this different stuff we've been beta testing it for about a week now to make sure that everything is running smoothly so there's already a few people in there so I will link that discord down below if you guys want to go check it out and join if you are also a YouTube creator I am super excited to see you over there it's called the art room and I'm just really excited to finally launch it so hopefully some of my creators um, that are watching me that are starting their own YouTube channels will come join and you guys can get some good advice organize some collabs and just kind of connect with the general artist community because I don't know I just kind of felt like we needed a place for us to all to all to connect and um, Jelly Bee felt the same way and so we just kind of collaborated together to create this and we do also have Monique Renee and Brushes and Bunnies are helping moderate out moderate over there as well so definitely check that out this is getting pretty long so I'm going to wrap up but make sure you check out Monique Renee's contribution to this as I said before we did work on this together we did the same uh, same challenge and hers is looking so cute it's like ridiculous so make sure you go check hers out I will link her channel in the description box as well um, don't forget to comment about the giveaway if you liked this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more from me I put out new videos every single Friday so come join the Wonderland fam and and that is pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys!